gaskets. Welcome to Building Knowledge 101. This bite-sized video explains the reason why gaskets must be properly installed to ensure curtain wall systems perform efficiently. Another thing we need to look at is gaskets. Again, it's one of those things that you might take for granted, but gaskets have to be installed properly. Typically, gaskets are on a roll when your manufacturer receives them and your sub, the subcontractor to get some gaskets on a roll. There's a little bit of a tension on them. So when they roll them off the roll, the gasket relaxes a little bit and it contracts. It shrinks up a little bit because it was stretched when it was put on the roll. So if you cut it right for daylight opening and put it in there, this is what's going to happen. It's going to relax and pull back and create a gap. So follow the instructions. Typically, manufacturers are going to say they want to put the gaskets in a little bit longer than daylight, so they go in under compression. So as they relax, all they do is just take up some of that pressure. And they maintain their contact at the corners. Something else you want to make sure we avoid is someone saying, well, I'm in a hurry. I'm going to use one gasket, just wrap it around there. Uh, that's typically referred to as marine glazing, but your gaskets need to be four individual pieces. They can't be one piece wrapped around. You can see here, someone tried to just wrap a gasket around there, and as it relaxed and shrank back a little bit, it pulled out of this corner, allowing cold air through, and you can see how much condensation there is here. I mean, look at that. You can see condensation and frost right here because cold air is blowing right around that gasket getting to the interior. Now, most manufacturers are going to offer a couple of different options in, in gaskets. Here you can see what's considered the standard gasket. This is designed for one inch insulated glass units in a standard frame. This is a lighter weight gasket and it takes a 16th of an inch off. So if you use two of them together, you can put an insulated glass unit in this one and an eighth inch thick. If you use this heavy gasket here, it adds a 16th of an inch and now you would glaze a seven eighths insulated glass unit. These all kind of look visually the same. So it's something that you've got to make sure subcontractors are aware of that they're using the correct gasket based on the thickness of the insulated glass unit because there are various sizes and they're designed to give you a little bit of flexibility in how thick your insulated glass unit is. That is all we have time for in this video. If you'd like to watch more of our 101 video series, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Conair Company, Inc.